Well guys, time to take the laser nut out. I'm gonna tell you guys what I've done to it. I put the techno shafts in the back end, so I've got that done. And rem remember last time, well, I had the issue with the rear gears. Well, it turns out the gears are okay. The pinion bearing blew up. That's a really small bearing, like a five by 11 by four. They need to be a lot larger in my opinion. However, we're gonna get this thing out, give it a run. I did swap to the new gears while I had it open. Might as well, right? Anyways, gonna give this thing a run on 3S with a 16 tooth pinion. Take a look. Well guys, let's see if this thing holds up this time. I mean, I don't know that I've had a uh, complete run without something breaking, have I? Huh. Uh, 3S. So. Woo! No! Gotta be careful, there is water over there. And that is not something I want to get into. Speed on 3S seems to be fine. Oh no. You're kidding me. Seriously? Blew another rear bearing already. Wow, this thing is turning into a turd. Wow. It's just 3S. You know, guys, I'm trying my best to like this vehicle. When it actually drives, when it actually is 100%, it actually runs really good. Uh, the handling is good. The suspension absorbs and works well. Uh, the Raw 500 really woke up the steering make that pretty darn adequate in my opinion even without the aluminum uh bell crank and all that that right there was enough to just really wake this thing up uh the motor is plenty strong esc does a good job as it sits i do not know why they gave this a 4s rating because i can't even get past 3s uh maybe the pinion bearing that i put in uh maybe it wasn't as high a quality as the factory bearing. Will a ceramic bearing actually hold up better? Um, at this point in time, I've asked Vitavon, Arthur, to see if he can make us a new aluminum bulkhead for the back and the front that uses large bearings, at least a uh, five by 13 by four or five by 14 by four, something to get, to get bigger balls in the bearings. <laughs> I know, man. Um, anyway, something to make it more durable at the axle. That's that's my issue. The Techno shafts helped it out. I got progress there. Um, steering the servo, I got progress there. Now what I have is an engineering issue. And I don't know, guys. You guys tell me. Comment down below if your laser nut is actually is actually running well or if you're experiencing the same issues that I am until I come up with either uh, until Vitavon makes a case for it I'm probably going to order a brand new case I'm going to try a ceramic 5 by 11 by 4 bearing uh, put two of them in there just to see how it does and see if it can at least survive a one battery um, otherwise it's going on the rack outside the room and it'll be out of sight out of mind until i decide to actually order the parts that's where i'm at with it right now like i mentioned in the video it's uh turning into a turd and uh i don't like to give you guys fail videos that's not my um thing if you will uh fail videos they're fun to watch but i don't know it's just not my thing right now I'm not going to tell you this is a winner. But anyway, guys, <laughs> check that description. I will put links in there for the parts that I have put on this. I'm not going to link this vehicle in the description. But I will link the servo, the axles. Um, and I think that's about all I've put into it. The replacement gears, uh, bearings, 
uh, stuff like that, I'll put in the description and all that, and, and a few other things. There are affiliate links for eBay, Amazon, Amain, Red Cat, Walmart. If you have something in your cart on any of those sites, just click a video, check the description, that little drop down thing where you get to see all the words and stuff. Click the link to go to that site and check out. It helps out, it gives me a little bit of a commission, and it may help me repair this thing right here. Guys, hopefully you liked the video. Sorry it was a fail. Hopefully you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members, get early viewing of many of the videos, and you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.